Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see. You're not gonna believe this, but I just got a call and Puffy's confirmed for Shreveport. It's lit. Nah, nah. That nigga can't go. He fuck around. Everybody be scared to drink. Puffy cups. Fucking wake up, your butt sore. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, to 11. Anybody who get out of line, you can sit home off your riding jet. You know the vibes. You're not playing. If you do your the bullet trace songs, pull a bow wow, pick the money up off the floor, for any of that. Wow, wow, check it, man. Hey, man, listen, man. Boss Talk 101, what a bosses talk. Listen, I had to talk about this, man. 50 Cent, this dude, man, listen, he never stops going. He goes in, he's not trying to hear it. You can call it what you want, but he just who he is. Straight up entrepreneur, you know me, at the end of the day, I rock with whoever, like, this dude always trying to figure out a way to, you know, keep things going, and to see a brother doing it like that, I gotta say, man, big ups to 50, man, 50 is one of them ones, man, when it comes to the East Coast, ain't nobody rocking like 50, man, ain't none of them dudes up there like 50, bro, so at the end of the day, He's my guy. When it comes to the East, you know, I got my thing going with him, you know, as far as on the West Coast, you know, at the end of the day, there's a lot of different things that go on with that West Coast as well. They got different people on that side that do their thing, you know, uh, man, but nobody doing it like that boy 50. Dr. Dre over there, you know, and he linked with 50, to be honest with you, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you got the South, man, you know, from Jay Prince, uh, Birdman, uh, Master P, as you know already. These are pinnacles, man. So there's pinnacles in each part, each coast. You got Snoop Dogg on the West. And I just like to go in on the fact of who 50 is because 50 have created things in the midst of this generation, in the midst of this decade, where you hadn't seen nobody doing things on the level that he's doing it when it comes down to his films and everything else he's doing, from power to all the stuff that he's doing, Ghost, Raising Canaan, BMF, this dude is something else. And he's not letting 50 make it at the end of the day. He's not going to let 50 make it because he never did let 50 make it. So you can't get up here and start tripping like, oh, man, he trolling. He shouldn't even doing it. He been doing this. So let's be real and let's be clear. It's nothing that he's doing new that he's been doing to 50. So at the end of the day, you got to understand 50 Cent. Uh, 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 that he been doing the Diddy. 50 Cent, he just ain't letting you make it. It don't matter if it was whoever he had his past beefs with. From Rick Ross, Ja Rule, he's just the same 50 when it come down to what he do. So, you, of course, you know, I've been rocking with him. That album he did, Get Rich or Die Trying, says it all. He's not going to stop. He understands what it's going to take to get where he need to go, and he'll do whatever to get to that. And that's what I like about him, the way he is. You know, he's not trying to hear it, man, when it comes down to his career, what he's doing to empower the people around him. And I just got to give him his respect. I got to give him his just due. Um, he's talking, he's going in on Diddy, say, you know, you leave the party. If he was invited, you, you, you know, your butt might be having issues. He's giving him the blues at the end of the day. He fakes like he's going to invite him to the party. Then he reneges on inviting him. Uh, no, you can't come, you know. He's really, really giving him the blues. Uh, this big deal going on in Shreveport, as you know, I'm 20 miles from Shreveport, where my hometown is, 20 to 30 miles at best. You got to understand, uh, to see what he's doing down here, you would have to be here to experience it, to see it. He's changing the culture, guys. 
a big, a, a dope plan because you got to understand what, what happens with 50. 50 now changes the whole format when it comes down to Shreveport from what he's doing down there. The casinos are down there. Um, you know, you got a lot of our people down there and he's coming in. They're giving him day, a day. They're giving him all the resources. It's a brilliant plan and I can see it and I, and I can't wait to see as it further develops. He's doing a lot down there. He's bringing in the celebs down there. Um, nobody was niching that market. He had went into that market when nobody was thinking about it. It was a gold mine sitting there. Anybody that had a budget could have went in there and did something like this if they understood the filming industry, if they understood uh, the dynamics of being right there in Shreveport and, and being able, Dallas just right up the street, Houston not far, and now you got people coming in out of New Orleans, uh, Mississippi, and I'm telling you right now, it's just a dope plan, so I can't wait till August to see uh, what, what he's gonna do down there. It's gonna be great, Bubba Dub will be in the house. I already see him and Bubba Dub working on some things. I'll be down there. It's going down, man. It's going down, and I wanna tell 50 Man, thank you for coming down to the South, man, rocking out with your boy. I didn't see that coming. I didn't know you was gonna be in Shreveport, but boy, am I glad you there. Maybe I can get in one of the movies or something. I don't know. Well, I could play something in one of the movies. Let me know. Your boy gets down. But at any rate, man, I love you, bro, and I love what you're doing. But you be tripping, because I'm telling you right now, I seen what you was doing, even on the other video that I showed where you had Cameron with you, which I think he's gonna be in the building in Shreveport. You also had uh, said, you know, don't come down here like Lil Bow Wow or Trey Songs. Man, listen, love your energy, bro. Love your confidence. And I love to see you get down with your get down. So at the end of the day, I know you come from what I come from as far as being a dude that been through some stuff. And at the end of the day, like I said, I'm rocking with you, man. So no matter what, you can't do no wrong once I'm rocking with you. Uh, you, you definitely one that always show love to cash money. You always show love to the South and what, what's going on. I hear you talk uh, about it. Cameron's another one. He showed love to Master P and Var and him. Uh, well, definitely Var, Cali Var, that's my guy. But that's the thing I look at, man. You link in with the guys who pretty much represent who we are in the South. Uh, thank you for supporting what's going on down here. Um, like, like, hey, listen, man. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be rocking with you. I'm coming over to the casino. I'm gonna go. They already say I'm VIP at, at Margaritaville or Harris or well Horseshoe, uh, any of those any of those spots. Your boy might be at because you know that's hometown. So I'm coming through. But man, I want to say, man, you keep on knocking these boys in the head, man. Fifty Cent, man, it's go it's fifty, man. You G unit, nigga. You know what I'm talking about, man. So I, I like I like to see how you get down with the get down, man. Keep doing your thing, man. Uh, keep spending that money, man, and flipping it and ripping it and flipping it. And next thing you know, bam, you got a whole situation going down, man. I just want to say, man, hey, man, make sure you got a like, subscribe to the channel, man. Fifty, stop. Don't be too hard on these boys, man. It's been another great segment. Boss Talk 101, man. Join that membership, man. Click that like button, man. Uh, also, that will notification bell, man. Let's get it, man. Boss Talk 101. Y'all know how I said what a boss is told. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see.